Last weekend, I went to the Home and Garden Show. It's an annual event, but due to COVID, it hasn't been around for a while. There were all sorts of vendors there looking to sell you paint products, solar energy, bathtub makeovers, windows, but only one vendor caught my eye. This vendor is called Natural Wonders. He's a wood carver. He makes teak benches, coffee tables made from tree roots, and bowls made from tree burls. He also sells these gothic style windows that are made to look old. While I love the style and shape, I knew that this could use a makeover. And I was just the guy to do it. The first upgrade I plan to do is install some stained glass. I need to make some pattern pieces for the openings by tracing each panel and then making them one quarter inch larger on all sides. This is because I'm going to need to cut a rabbit for the glass to sit in, like a picture frame. I have a lot of stained glass pieces in my stash, so I'll use the colors that I already have. Darker colors at the bottom and lighter colors as the pieces go up. At first I was going to use these glazing points to hold the glass, but I noticed that they were visible from the front, so I changed my plans and decided to use a thin bead of caulk all the way around. After installing all of the glass in the frame, I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I don't think so. Now if I were going to hang this up in an existing window where the sun was shining through the stained glass, that would look beautiful. But I'm not. I want to hang this up on a wall. In fact, any wall in my house. The problem with that is that the glass is only going to look that much darker. Now it would still look good, but I don't want just good. I want great. To accomplish great, I want to install some LED lights on the inside of this frame, but I don't want to have to plug this into an outlet. I want the versatility to hang this up anywhere. The solution? USB battery powered remote control LED lights. And to do that, I'm going to need to deepen this frame to accommodate the LED strip lights. So let's head out to the garage and make some modifications to this frame. Fortunately, I have this piece of press board I found in the alley behind the AutoZone last summer. Say, Woodrow, we need to come up with a way so we can mount the window safely on the wall because it is kind of heavy. What do you think? No, I'm not sure that's going to work. What else you got? Yes, that's a great idea. We're going to make a shelf that the window is going to sit on top of. It's going to kind of look like a windowsill and it's going to match. 
Excellent idea, Woodrow. Man, this guy. High five. This is another Alley Pick shelf I found. It's a solid piece of hardwood I can use to make my new shelf. I have this natural gap in the wood here, so I can use this to feed my USB plug through. This looks amazing. The original empty frame looked nice, but there's just no comparison to the finished product. I'll eventually make a battery compartment inside the frame, but for now, I'll call it finished. <laughs> 